starting with 1 million luck points. Chapter 321, Are You Preparing to Submit to This King? It's actually that easy. Mirong Sun was directly dumbfounded. Indeed, his judgment this time was very problematic. If Zhou Hao listened to him and turned around to leave, then this spirit body fragment would have nothing to do with him. It's easy now. As long as we find a way to distract this guy, we can immediately obtain a spirit body fragment. Mirong Sun became somewhat excited. His current spirit body was too weak, so it was difficult for him to speak normally. Previously, he had accumulated a lot of strength and wanted to possess Zhou Hao. Unexpectedly, Zhou Hao was a quasi heaven realm expert who was pretending to be weak. Click. After the Iron Bone Bear King fell asleep, Zhou Hao continued to throw gems into the distance, prepared to attract the Iron Bone Bear King away. This time, the Iron Bone Bear King opened its eyes again. However, it was not looking at the gems. Instead, it looked in Zhou Hao's direction unkindly. Although Zhou Hao had restrained his aura and some wood elemental essence energy had gathered around him, he still looked like a demon plant. However, the Iron Bone Bear King was still very certain that the little rat not far away was a human. Let's go. Seeing this scene, Murong Sun immediately reminded. Although he felt very regretful, there was nothing he could do. Zhou Hao was not weak, but his disguise techniques were really not impressive. At this moment, this Iron Bone Bear King had clearly seen through his disguise. Once the Iron Bone Bear King felt that Zhou Hao was a good prey, Zhou Hao would really be in trouble. An Iron Bone Bear King would not rest until it killed its prey. Before the Iron Bone Bear King became furious, he had to leave immediately. Let's wait a while longer. Zhou Hao did not leave, and the Iron Bone Bear King did not continue to sleep. Its huge bell-like eyes also continued to stare in Zhou Hao's direction. Swoosh! Under Murong Sun's dumbfounded gaze, Zhou Hao began to court death again. At this moment, Zhou Hao actually grabbed many gems and treasures and threw them at the Iron Bone Bear King. Not only were there various treasures, but there were also platinum level energy bars and rare level energy bars. What is this human doing? The Iron Bone Bear King looked at Zhou Hao with deep suspicion. Does it want to submit to me by offering its treasure? Thinking that the other quasi heaven realm demon beasts also did not have human servants, the Iron Bone Bear King was immediately somewhat tempted. Forget it, let's see what treasure he brought me. The Iron Bone Bear King pondered for a moment before slowly getting up and walking towards the surrounding treasures. In the beginning, the Iron Bone Bear King walked into the distance. At that place, Zhou Hao had thrown away a portion of the gems. The Iron Bone Bear King walked over and looked at these shining gems that were relatively rare in the spatial rift. It expressed its satisfaction and immediately put away all these gems. It had already decided to embed these gems into its sleeping cave abode. You're really not afraid of death. Murong Sun was already completely speechless. He originally thought that he was already bold enough. Now, he realized that compared to this junior, his so-called courage was nothing. After the Iron Bone Bear King collected all the distant gems, it quickly arrived again. It also took away all the gems here. Then, only the Platinum Level Energy Bar and the Rare Level Energy Bar were left on the ground. What are these? The Iron Bone Bear King was dumbfounded. It did not know what Zhou Hao had thrown at it. However, it still approached and grabbed a Platinum Level Energy Bar. As the Iron Bone Bear King grabbed the Platinum Level Energy Bar curiously, Zhou Hao also braced himself and stood up. The Iron Bone Bear King was not surprised to see Zhou Hao. It also discovered that Zhou Hao was also holding a Platinum Level Energy Bar. Brother Bear, this is a Platinum Level Energy Bar. You can eat it directly. With that said, Zhou Hao chewed as if he was eating ice. Whom is this food? Seeing that Zhou Hao was eating this crystal-like Platinum Level Energy Bar, the Iron Bone Bear King pondered for a moment and immediately began to eat. After eating a mouthful, its eyes immediately revealed disbelief. Chapter 322, Good Treasure 
This thing actually has such pure energy. Even those colored energy crystals don't have such a high energy purity. What a good treasure. The Iron Bone Bear King immediately did not stand on ceremony and put away all the platinum level energy bars. In the future, these would be its snacks. At this moment, Zhou Hao took out the rare level energy bar and placed it in his mouth to eat. Can this be eaten too? Seeing that Zhou Hao was eating a rare level energy bar, the Iron Bone Bear King pondered for a moment and immediately began to chew on the rare level energy bar. MM. After taking a bite, the Iron Bone Bear King's eyes revealed extreme shock. The platinum level energy bar from before was only a small snack and was not much help to it. However, this rare level energy bar could definitely be used as its cultivation resource. In the spatial rift, cultivation resources were the most important resources. The various supernatural level foreign races and quasi heaven realm foreign races often fought because of some resources. At this moment, the Iron Bone Bear King's gaze instantly looked at Zhou Hao. This is. Zhou Hao was stunned for a moment before understanding. The Iron Bone Bear King definitely wanted more rare level energy bars. Brother Bear, I'll give you some more rare level energy bars. As the Iron Bone Bear King was thinking if it should slap Zhou Hao to death, the ten rare level energy bars in Zhou Hao's hand also flew out. He still had more than 1,000 rare level energy bars on him. It was not a big deal to give the Iron Bone Bear King 10. The Iron Bone Bear King was naturally overjoyed when it saw Zhou Hao give it rare level energy bars. This cultivation resource was very useful. There was no need for him to extract it at all. He could just eat it directly. Crack. Crack. After obtaining another 10 rare level energy bars, the Iron Bone Bear King did not stand on ceremony at all and directly ate the first rare level energy bar. Then, it had a satisfied expression and no longer looked at Zhou Hao with killing intent. It had already decided to take Zhou Hao as its first servant. Zhou Hao did not know what the Iron Bone Bear King was thinking at all. However, he could still sense that the Iron Bone Bear King no longer had any killing intent towards him. On this side, Murong Sun prostrated himself in admiration of Zhou Hao. This was the first time he had seen a human martial artist bribe a demon beast. Brother Bear, can you give that to me? As Zhou Hao maintained a safe distance from the Iron Bone Bear King, he pointed at the ball behind it. At that moment, the dragon eye sized ball was a fragment of Murong Sun's spirit body. After a Heaven Realm expert died, their mental strength would explode in all directions. After that, this mental strength would constantly disperse and condense. Some had transformed into this spirit body fragment, while others had completely disappeared. Generally speaking, such spirit body fragments did not have much consciousness. For example, the Murong Sun in his sea of consciousness was definitely a very special existence. Zhou Hao gestured around. It was unknown if the Iron Bone Bear King understood. This was because he had already discovered that this Iron Bone Bear King was a fool. It did not know how to speak human language or communicate with mental strength. Right now, he could only rely on hand signals to communicate with the Iron Bone Bear King. Fortunately, after Zhou Hao gestured, the Iron Bone Bear King knew what Zhou Hao was going to do no matter how stupid it was. It immediately grabbed the ball behind it. Seeing this scene, Zhou Hao felt relieved and Murong Sun was also happy. Although this big black bear was very stupid, it was not stupid to the extreme. Crack. However, what happened next stunned Zhou Hao. Murong Sun even wanted to kill this thing. If not for the fact that he was not a spirit body but that 12th level heaven realm expert from back then, he would definitely kill this bastard now. Swoosh. After crushing the ball into three pieces, the Iron Bone Bear King immediately threw one to Zhou Hao and took out three rare level energy bars. P.U. Seeing this scene, Zhou Hao was immediately amused. This Iron Bone Bear King was actually making a deal with him. However, Murong Sun was too tragic. The spirit body fragment that he had found with great difficulty was directly shattered. Although it could still be used after shattering, 
the effect would be greatly reduced. Chapter 323, Essence Energy Ancestral Stone Uddenly waved its hand. It stretched out a finger and pointed behind itself, as if it had something to say. What? Brother Bear, you still want to make a deal with me? Zhou Hao was stunned for a moment and could not help but ask. The Iron Bone Bear King nodded and gestured. It seemed to be saying that he had something good behind him and wanted to make a deal with Zhou Hao. Oh? Do you really have something good? Zhou Hao blinked. This Iron Bone Bear King must have tasted the sweetness and wanted to take out something good to exchange with him. The Iron Bone Bear King did not waste its breath. It ran behind and directly took out a milky white stone and threw it to Zhou Hao. After obtaining the stone, Zhou Hao was stunned for a moment. However, his expression immediately changed. This was because he could sense an extremely rich heaven and earth essence energy from this stone. This this is. While Zhou Hao was shocked, Murong Sun was also shocked. He could not help but exclaim. It's actually an essence energy ancestral stone. Zhou Hao originally thought that it was a high purity essence crystal. Hearing Murong Sun say this, he immediately asked. What is an essence energy ancestral stone? Murong Sun took a deep breath and suppressed the shock in his heart before speaking after thinking for a moment. The essence energy ancestral stone is a stone condensed from heaven and earth essence energy. The reason why it's called an ancestral stone is precisely because it contains the most essence energy among the many ores. The rare level energy bar in your hand only contains a tenth of the heaven and earth essence energy compared to this stone. It's far superior to those essence crystals. However, it's very difficult for essence energy ancestral stones to be formed. It's not an exaggeration to say that it requires the perfect time and perfect place. Moreover, the essence energy ancestral stone contains terrifying spatial strength. The minds that contain this stone all exist in spatial rifts. It's very difficult for us humans to step foot in them. Even those super experts above the third grade of the heavenly tribulation don't dare to guarantee that they can escape unscathed. Hearing this, Zhou Hao was shocked. He did not expect this item to be so precious. Also, only human cultivators can absorb the essence energy ancestral stone. This is something that is only beneficial to humans. The other foreign races are unable to absorb it at all. For so many years, they have been thinking of ways to resolve it. After all, so many essence energy ancestral stones are in the spatial rift and are controlled by these foreign races. After speaking, Mirong Sun sighed. Don't you think it's really ironic? There's such a powerful thing and yet it's placed in the depths of the spatial rift. Humans can cultivate with it, but they can't obtain it. The foreign races can obtain it, but they can't absorb it. Zhou Hao could not help but nod. According to Mirong Sun, it was indeed quite fair. Thinking of this, Zhou Hao also decided to give it a try. If what Mirong Sun said was true, it would be a huge fortune. Boy. Don't tell me you really want to trade with it. Ignoring the fact that we still don't know if there's more essence energy ancestral stones, even if there were, do you think you'd be able to walk away with them? Moreover, this quasi heaven realm beast is undoubtedly similar to a human. Don't underestimate its intelligence. Mirong Sun was somewhat nervous and advised. He was really worried that Zhou Hao would get rash and leave with this iron bone bear king. If this was a trap, everything would be ruined. It was not easy for him to be reborn. He did not want to die here. I understand, but if I can't leave with this treasure, won't I lose out? I'm afraid I'll be so angry at night that I won't be able to sleep. Zhou Hao nodded, but he still felt unwilling. After all, this thing was so precious. If he didn't take it, wouldn't it be a loss? Mirong Sun couldn't help but roll his eyes. This kid was too greedy. Let's try it first and see what we can say. As Zhou Hao spoke, he looked at the Iron Bone Bear King and said, Brother Bear, do you really have more of this? How many do you have? The Iron Bone Bear King stretched out its hand and drew a circle ruthlessly, as if it was saying that there were many. 
This made Zhou Hao even more excited, but he was still cautious. Brother Bear, you're not lying to me, are you? As Zhou Hao spoke, he pointed at him and gestured at his neck. His meaning was self-evident. Chapter 324, You're Really Bold Seeing Zhou Hao like this, the Iron Bone Bear King immediately smiled, thinking to himself that Zhou Hao was really timid. If he wanted to, wouldn't he have killed him already? The reason why he did not attack was because he did not want any accidents to happen. He wanted to get those energy bars from Zhou Hao. Zhou Hao looked at it and was stunned for a moment. He did not know why this big black bear would suddenly smile. Just as he was feeling puzzled, he saw the big black bear shake its head. It stretched out a finger and pointed at the essence energy ancestral stone. Then, it stretched out its ten fingers. One for ten. Zhou Hao was stunned for a moment before understanding. He was immediately speechless. This big black bear looked silly but seemed to know how to do business. However, according to Murong Sun, even this price was guaranteed to benefit Zhou Hao. After all, one essence energy ancestral stone was comparable to dozens of rare level energy bars. He would not be losing anything. All right, it's a deal. Zhou Hao nodded without hesitation. Although it seemed risky, Zhou Hao had long understood that all good fortune was built on risk. You really want to go along with it? Mirong Sun couldn't help but ask. Of course. It's such a good opportunity. Why not? Zhou Hao couldn't help but say. Aren't you afraid that it's lying to you? What if a Heaven Realm Beast King suddenly appears and smashes you into pieces? No, it won't. If it wants the energy bars, the best way for it to obtain them is to trade with me. If we fight and destroy the energy bars, the gains won't make up for the losses. It's very smart so it should be aware of this, Zhou Hao said with a smile. The Iron Bone Bear King was also very happy. Although the Essence Energy Ancestral Stone was very precious, the foreign races were unable to absorb it at all. Instead of putting it here, it was better to exchange it for some energy bars. I don't care. What ancestral stone? It's useless to me. It's just a pile of trash. If I can obtain more energy bars, I might be able to break through to the heaven realm and evolve my bloodline. At that time, I'll definitely teach that bastard Skyworm King a lesson. The Iron Bone Bear King was already impatient as it schemed. The Iron Bone Bear King made a plan in its mind before its body moved towards the spatial rift. This was already the edge of the spatial rift. If they continued forward, they would enter the spatial rift. Zhou Hao was actually still somewhat worried, but he was certain that this Iron Bone Bear King would not go back on its word. After all, if they really fought, this Iron Bone Bear King might not be able to defeat him. Moreover, once the battle began, the energy bars were very likely to be destroyed. The Iron Bone Bear King was so cunning that it was definitely unwilling to see such a thing happen. Naturally, Zhou Hao was certain that the Iron Bone Bear King would not harm him. However, in order to prevent this Iron Bone Bear King from scheming against him, Zhou Hao was still very careful. He kept a distance of 5 kilometers. At the same time, he held the spirit body clone that Heavenly King Zhu had given him and was ready to immediately retreat if he discovered anything wrong. You're really bold to actually do business with a foreign beast. If news of this gets out, I'm afraid many people will be so shocked their jaws will drop. Mirong Sun could not help but speak up. At the same time, he admired Zhou Hao very much. Even if he had become a Heaven Realm expert back then, he did not dare to do such things. Zhou Hao curled his lips. So what if he was doing business with a foreign beast? He even had a red gold flame lion as a mount. The space in the spatial rift was chaotic to begin with. Even when Zhou Hao entered, he clearly felt an extremely intense tearing force. Moreover, although the surrounding essence energy was a little more, it was still very violent. Zhou Hao understood that the cities in the 13th spatial rift were all in the outer circle. In fact, very few human cultivators entered the spatial rift. On the one hand, 
they were resisting the strange beasts that came out of the spatial rift because the danger in the spatial rift was very high, and on the other hand, if they were careless and fell into the spatial wormhole, they were very likely to be directly killed by the spatial power. Only the quasi heaven realm beasts could clearly avoid these dangerous areas. Zhou Hao secretly made a mark. At the same time, he took out a recording device and recorded all the places he went to and handed it to the Green Cloud Division. At that time, when the human experts came in one day, they wouldn't be ignorant. Soon, Zhou Hao felt the surrounding heaven and earth essence energy become thicker. In front of him, Zhou Hao saw a medium sized valley. This valley was filled with essence energy ancestral stones. Zhou Hao's breathing quickened. At a glance, there were more than 10,000 essence energy ancestral stones. If he could obtain all of them, wouldn't it be awesome? What are you thinking? Do you think you can take it away? This thing doesn't fluctuate when placed in your hand, but it's extremely difficult for you to take it out from its birthplace. Look carefully at the surrounding space. At this moment, Murong Sun could not help but pour cold water on Zhou Hao. Zhou Hao hurriedly checked and gasped. Chapter 325, Bargaining The space in this valley was simply chaotic. There were spatial rifts everywhere. Moreover, there were not only complicated spatial rifts, but they were also extremely destructive. And these spatial rifts were caused by the aura of these essence energy ancestral stones. No wonder this thing was called an ancestral stone. Even space could not withstand such a powerful and heavy aura condensing together. Then what should I do? If I don't take it, won't I be wasting the natural resources? It's too much of a loss. I'm really afraid I won't be able to sleep from anger when I return. Zhou Hao was so envious that he was about to cry. That isn't right. How is not gaining the same as losing? Mirong Sun said angrily. Uh, they're basically the same thing. Zhou Hai coughed dryly. At this moment, the Iron Bone Bear King had already stopped. It turned around and looked at Zhou Hao, its meaning self evident. However, Zhou Hao was a little depressed. The space inside was too complicated, and it was really not easy for him to enter. Although his Golden Crow escape technique was very fast, once he was swallowed by the spatial rift, even if he had a hundred clones, he still wouldn't be able to survive. Thinking of this, Zhou Hao looked at the Iron Bone Bear King and made a decision. Logically speaking, Quasi Heaven Realm beasts should be proficient in human language, just like the Red Gold Flame Lion. The reason why this Iron Bone Bear King did not understand human language should be because it had not learned it yet. Therefore, Zhou Hao directly took out a chip. Inside was a language bag similar to humans and he threw it to the Iron Bone Bear King. Hmm? What's this? It looks like a chip. The Iron Bone Bear King also had a lot of experience. Holding it in its hand, he received a sizing up message from the chip. At this moment, it had suddenly learned the human language. Brother Bear, can you understand me now? Zhou Hao absorbed the chip and hurriedly asked. Yes, human boy. You have quite a lot of interesting things. I am quite impressed by your energy bars and this chip. As expected, you primates are really smart. The Iron Bone Bear King spoke. Although it looked rough, its voice still sounded like a female. Brother, since we just made a deal, as partners, I want to tell you that I'm not strong enough to enter the place you brought me to. Therefore, I can't get the essence energy ancestral stone. Look, do you have any way to help me get it? As long as you bring me one, I'll immediately hand over ten energy bars. How about that? Zhou Hao felt that it would be a waste not to use the labor force. Since the Iron Bone Bear King could bring him here and had taken an essence energy ancestral stone out before, there had to be a way. Indeed, hearing Zhou Hao's words, the Iron Bone Bear King blinked its big eyes and chuckled. So you can't afford it. Ha ha ha, all right, I'll help you get it. However, this price will need to be adjusted for. After all, you still have to pay for the labor fees. One for twenty. 
the Iron Bone Bear King was extremely cunning. As soon as it opened its mouth, it became an old fox and directly made Zhou Hao shut up. Damn, you're really stupid. You're so stupid. Why did you tell it that you couldn't enter? Aren't you asking to be killed? You're so damn stupid. You're even more stupid than this big black bear. Mirong Sun was furious. Zhou Hao was also freaking depressed. He did not expect this Iron Bone Bear King to be so damn cunning. Brother Bear, that's not how business works. Look, we just said that we would exchange one for ten. How can you still raise the price? Zhou Hao was not stupid. He had been careless just now and was prepared to compete with the Iron Bone Bear King. Little human brother, you can't say that. In this day and age, everything costs money. Moreover, it's so dangerous here. It's easy for you to take out those energy bars. On the other hand, I need to invest my life into this. If I'm careless and die, won't I be done for? Therefore, the price is naturally high for risky investments. If you're unwilling, then forget it. The Iron Bone Bear King waved its hand. This scene made Zhou Hao's face turn black. Haha, <laughs> you lost an argument to a bear. I'm dying of laughter. Zhou Hao, to think that you would have such a day. Mirong Sun immediately smiled when he heard this, and Zhou Hao was even more depressed. Hearing Mirong Sun's ridicule, Zhou Hao's face went dark. If he had known that this guy was so smart, he would have been more careful. However, Zhou Hao still felt that it was a guaranteed profit, but he still negotiated the price. Brother Xiang, this energy bar of mine is also very rare. If I exchange it for 20, I'll have to suffer a loss. How about this? Can we do one for 15? He would be able to gain as long as he could cut down the number. Moreover, it didn't matter since he would be ripping off a foreign beast. Little human brother, I really can't. This spatial rift is too dangerous. I have to put in a lot of effort. This is only because my bloodline is special and I have the ability to resist the spatial rift. Otherwise, other beast kings wouldn't have it as easy as me. However, since you want to negotiate, how about this? I'll take a step back in exchange for 18. How about that? At this moment, the Iron Bone Bear King was no longer stupid. It was extremely quick-witted when it came to doing business. Ha ha ha. I'm dying of laughter. Zhou Hao, I have to say that you were really fooled by a bear today. Mirong Sun finally seized the opportunity to mock Zhou Hao. Zhou Hao was very angry, but he did not say anything and agreed with the Iron Bone Bear King. Chapter 326, Tempering the Body Seeing Zhou Hao nod, the Iron Bone Bear King plunged into the spatial rift. Its entire body emitted a powerful defense as it resisted the tearing of the spatial rift and slowly approached the essence energy ancestral stones. However, the deeper they went, the stronger the spatial tearing ability became. However, this did not seem to bother it at all. It was indeed very cunning. After approaching, it opened its mouth and sucked in dozens of essence energy ancestral stones. Then, it was not greedy and directly retreated. A total of 50. You should give me 900 energy bars. The Iron Bone Bear King's calculation ability was quite impressive. Zhou Hao did not waste his breath and directly took out the 900 energy bars. These had all dropped in the live stream. Now that he had the luck level blessed by Lady Luck, it was extremely easy for him to get these items. However, this essence energy ancestral stone was something that could only be chanced upon by luck. After the man and the bear finished trading, Zhou Hao originally wanted him to go in and take some more out. However, the Iron Bone Bear King shook its head directly. No, if I move too much, we'll be easily discovered by the guys in the depths of the spatial rift. I'll give you fifty first. If you want more, you can come back in half a month. How about that, the Iron Rail Bear King said. When Zhou Hao heard this, he did not say anything else. After all, he remembered this place. All right, Brother Bear. 
I am quite satisfied. I'll come and find you again. Well said, well said. Little human brother, you really don't go back on your word. In the future, if you come, we'll still trade at the same rate, 1 to 18. I definitely won't scam you. The Iron Bone Bear King patted its chest happily. Zhou Hao smiled. Although this Iron Bone Bear King was a little sly, it had to be said that it was rather honest. Zhou Hao left and returned to the training camp. During this period of time, the training had become even more tense. Su Ling, Zhang Yi and the others had all worked hard. Compared to them, Zhou Hao seemed a little lazy. Where have you been? I noticed that you haven't been around recently. Zhou Hao had just returned to the villa to lie down and had yet to check the Essence Energy Ancestral Stone when Su Ling walked in from the balcony. When she saw Zhou Hao, she placed her hands on her hips and questioned him. Today, Su Ling was wearing a training suit. From the looks of it, she must have just finished training. She was covered in sweat and had yet to change. Her entire body emitted youthful vitality making Zhou Hao's mouth dry. My master always gives me special treatment. Zhou Hao blinked. This was the only reasonable explanation. I see then next time you go out, let me know first. Su Ling did not say much. He he he, got it, darling. Zhou Hao licked his face and giggled. His words made Su Ling blush and she couldn't help but kick him. Who's your darling? Stop being smug. Zhou Hao was not angry. His skin was as thick as the ground. Su Ling was extremely shy. After hearing what Zhou Hao said, she was immediately embarrassed. She glared at Zhou Hao fiercely and left his villa. Seeing that she had left, Zhou Hao impatiently checked his essence energy ancestral stone. This thing contained more power than a rare level energy bar. It was also more convenient to absorb. It was really as if it was tailor-made for humans. With this, it'll be much easier for me to break through to the Heaven Realm. Zhou Hao pondered secretly. Unfortunately, Murong Sun snorted coldly. Do you think it's that easy to break through to the Heaven Realm? What are you thinking, child? Hmm? What? Zhou Hao could not help but ask. It's extremely difficult for a quasi-heaven realm expert to break through to the heaven realm. Although it only seems like it's a step away, the gap between the two is still like the heavens and the earth, far away and unattainable. Do you know how many quasi-heaven realm experts failed to break through in their entire lives? Do you think you can break through with this little essence energy ancestral stone? What a joke! If that's the case, wouldn't Heaven Realm experts be as abundant as cabbages? Zhou Hao naturally understood this principle, but he still did not understand how to break through to the Heaven Realm. He smiled and asked, Senior, how can I break through to the Heaven Realm? Murong Sun did not hide anything. Normally, after condensing essence energy from the blood essence in your body and reaching a certain amount, you can break through to the Heaven Realm. However, this is only the theory. It has to be known that the physique of a Heaven Realm expert is already different from an ordinary person's physique. If you want to break through, you have to have a body that can accommodate such violent energy. If you only want to break through to the Heaven Realm, then even if you break through to the Heaven Realm, you will still be trash and will bring endless trouble in the future. Therefore, for the sake of the future, what you have to do now is to temper your body. Murong Sun's words made Zhou Hao somewhat surprised. This was the first time he had heard such words. Tempering the physical body involves condensing the blood, bones, and spirit body. Everything has to be infinitely compressed, allowing the physical body to become like the essence energy ancestral stone. Only then can one be considered a true heaven realm expert. Damn, is it really that difficult? When Zhou Hao heard this, he was immediately surprised. How much effort would it take to turn his body into an essence energy ancestral stone? Chapter 327, Hard Work Pays Off Otherwise, what do you think? Fortunately, your foundation is different from that of ordinary people, so it won't be too difficult for you to cultivate. 
However, you have to know that meeting these conditions before the Heaven Realm is completely different from meeting these conditions after reaching the Heaven Realm. Do you understand? Zhou Hao naturally believed Murong Sun's words. After all, the other party was an expert at the 12th level Heaven Realm, so he naturally had more foresight than Zhou Hao. Senior, what should I do? Zhou Hao asked. It's very simple. Use essence energy to temper your body and let essence energy fuse into your blood, bones, limbs, and meridians. Zhou Hao nodded and did not waste his breath. He directly took out an essence energy ancestral stone and began to temper his body. He followed Murong Sun's method and guided this essence energy into his body. However, he did not absorb it. Instead, he transformed it into pure energy that constantly bombarded his body. His body was constantly being damaged and repaired again, causing the essence energy to completely fuse into his limbs and meridians. Although it sounded easy, Zhou Hao still felt like he was going to die after trying. This essence energy was extremely powerful. As soon as it entered his body to temper, Zhou Hao spat out a mouthful of blood. He felt an incomparable pain throughout his body. The pain was deep into his bones. If not for his powerful willpower, he probably would have fainted at this moment. Zhou Hao could clearly sense that after the essence energy entered his body, his bones directly shattered. Many places began to break before slowly recovering under the nourishment of this essence energy. Although it was very painful, Zhou Hao clearly felt that the new flesh and bones he had condensed were simply incomparable to the original. If his original body was as tough as a wooden stick, then his current body was as tough as steel. However, the price was that the 50 essence energy ancestral stones he had exchanged with great difficulty had been used up. Seeing the last ancestral stone turn to dust, Zhou Hao heaved a sigh of relief. He could sense the changes in his body, and his heart surged with shocking waves. He clenched his fists tightly and could clearly sense that his punch was at least twice as powerful as before. I feel like I can instantly kill a quasi heaven realm beast. Zhou Hao grinned. As expected, there was always a reward. However, he still needed to wait another half a month before he could trade for more essence energy ancestral stones, making him somewhat anxious. Zhou Hao did not care. He had plenty of patience. Opening the Heaven Deo software, Zhou Hao looked at the mystery boxes and wondered if he should open a few. However, his message window flashed, indicating that Fairy Yuling had sent him a message. Big Shot, are you still coming to watch my live stream today? There was a smiley face emoji behind. Zhou Hao smiled and directly entered Fairy Yuling's live stream, directly causing an uproar. Damn, the Big Shot is here. And I'm just an ordinary person. Did the Big Shot come to dominate the rankings today? And I'm just an ordinary person. Fairy Yuling, the big shot is here. Why aren't you showing your sincerity? Fairy Yuling typed in the chat box. Welcome to my live stream, big shot. And I'm just an ordinary person. Zhou Hao knew that Fairy Yuling's live stream needed a lot of maintenance every day, so he did not waste his breath. He looked at his luck points that were worth tens of millions and began to stream. Ding congratulations on being an ordinary person for giving away 10 rare level energy bars and obtaining 20 times the reward. Ding congratulations, I'm just an ordinary person for giving away 50 rare level energy bars and obtaining 50 times the reward. Ding congratulations, I'm just an ordinary person for giving away 30 rare level energy bars and obtaining 10 times the reward. Zhou Hao had gifted 200 rare level energy bars in one go but the reward he had obtained was indeed 5,000 rare level energy bars. With this, the live stream was instantly lit up. Damn, I'm kneeling at I'm just an ordinary person. A big shot is indeed a big shot. At I'm just an ordinary person. I've long heard that the big shot is impressive. Seeing you today, I'm impressed at I'm just an ordinary person. A while ago, after Zhou Hao had frequently gotten high multiplier rewards from Fairy Yuling, the number of people in Fairy Yuling's live stream increased. Many of them were here for Fairy Yuling. However, 
there were also some people who came to watch Zhou Hao. This also caused Fairy Yuling's ranking to break through 70,000 and enter 60,000. This made Fairy Yuling very happy, and the users in the live stream also started to create a rhythm. Fairy Yuling, the big shot is so awesome. Aren't you going to give him some benefits? That's right, Fairy Yuling, didn't you say that you wanted to dance for the big shot? Will you be dancing today? Show us a dance. Show us a dance. Thanks to the big shot, we'll also get to see you dance. Fairy Yuling also typed in the chat box. And I'm just an ordinary person. Big shot, do you want to see it? Joe Hao smiled and said. I'll have to take a rain check. I still have something I need to do so I'll leave first. Damn, the big shot is indeed extraordinary. He blew up the live stream and left. How carefree. And I'm just an ordinary person. This is what you call a big shot. Do you see that? You bunch of losers are giving away energy bars just so you can ask the streamer to do this or that. Look at this big shot. This is what you call a role model and I'm just an ordinary person. This group of people began to kneel and lick his boots. Zhou Hao only smiled and left the live stream. Just as he left, Fairy Yu Ling sent a message. Chapter 328, You Can Actually Temper Your Body With Essence Energy Big Shot, Do You Not Want To Watch Me Dance? Zhou Hao was stunned for a moment and felt that she took it the wrong way. After all, he had never said that he did not want to watch her dance. I never said that dot. Zhou Hao replied simply. I recorded a video of myself dancing. Shall I send it to you? Fairy Yuling sent another message. She sent another shy expression after that. Zhou Hao was immediately stunned and could not help but reply, Is this a special benefit for me? Big shot, you helped me a lot. You can get whatever benefits you want. Zhou Hao did not know how to respond to this. He really did not mean to do this, but now, Fairy Yuling had misunderstood him. It was as if she thought that he wanted other special benefits. Zhou Hao was about to persuade her when he received a video. On the screen, Fairy Yuling was beautiful and moving as she danced gracefully. Her dancing posture was simply devastatingly beautiful and peerless. It had to be said that Fairy Yuling was indeed beautiful. Moreover, her dance was very beautiful. Her gaze really made Zhou Hao's heart itch. He couldn't help but swallow a mouthful of saliva as his entire body burned. Does it look good if the big shot likes it, I can dance more. When Fairy Yuling sent the message, Zhou Hao became embarrassed. He did not have the time to say anything and hurriedly quit the Heaven Deo software. At this moment, Fairy Yuling saw that Zhou Hao's profile picture had turned grey, and confusion flashed across her pretty face. She did not understand what was wrong with this big shot. Could it be that her dance was not good enough? Or did he not want to see it at all? Or was he embarrassed? She could not figure it out and had a puzzled expression. Zhou Hao hurriedly washed his face and suppressed the evil desires. This woman is so damn tempting. Zhou Hao wiped his face and was about to rest when Heavenly King Zhu sent a message. He frowned and did not stop for a moment. He directly arrived at the Twelfth Spatial Rift and met Heavenly King Zhu in person. Heavenly King Zhu, what's wrong? Why are you in such a hurry to call me over? Heavenly King Zhu saw Zhou Hao and was about to speak when he suddenly exclaimed. His eyes widened and he could not help but exclaim. You're your aura essence energy tempering. You can actually use essence energy to temper your body. Heavens! Zhu Zhao was very shocked. In just a few days, he did not expect Zhou Hao to be able to temper his essence energy. It had to be known that the heaven and earth essence energy was originally violent. Other than heaven realm experts, one would not dare to use it to temper their body at all. Otherwise, such a violent strength could instantly kill all quasi heaven realm experts. What shocked Zhu Zhao the most was that in just a few days, Zhou Hao had achieved such an effect. President Zhou, you've given me too many surprises. Zhu Zhao was very excited. 
In the entire country, a quasi-heaven realm expert who could temper his body was like a treasure. This kind of expert would not only be incomparably powerful when they advanced to the heaven realm in the future. Most importantly, under the premise that heaven realm experts could not casually attack, the competition was only between quasi-heaven realm experts. And Zhou Hao could basically be said to be invincible in this realm. This meaning was extraordinary. Zhou Hao smiled, but he still hurriedly said, Heavenly King Zhu, why did you ask me to come here? Zhu Zhao slapped his forehead. Look at me. I was so excited that I almost forgot about the important matter. An abnormality was discovered in the twelfth spatial rift. We detected a powerful fluctuation. The experts I sent over were unable to approach that place at all. Therefore I can only trouble you. Zhou Hao was definitely a top-notch existence among quasi-heaven realm experts. If Zhou Hao was in charge of this matter, he would definitely be at ease. All right, I understand. I'll rush over now. After Zhou Hao finished speaking, he did not say anything else and rushed towards the twelfth spatial rift. At this moment, outside the twelfth spatial rift, there was a powerful magnetic field with a powerful aura. Many human experts were standing around, including Ling Shuaying. She was wearing a tight suit that outlined her exquisite body. Coupled with her devastatingly beautiful face, it made people unable to help but take another look. However, at this moment, she frowned slightly and had a bad expression. This was because the appearance of this magnetic field was too strange. Not only that, but it also had a very powerful repulsive force that was even repelling her. At this moment, she seemed to have sensed something. She turned around and saw Zhou Hao appear. You're here, President Zhou. Ling Shuaying had always felt that Zhou Hao was mysterious. In addition to his outstanding strength, she naturally could not help but pay more attention. Moreover, after fighting alongside Zhou Hao, she trusted him completely. Mm, how's the situation? After Zhou Hao arrived, he felt a powerful fluctuation envelop the edge of the twelfth spatial rift. Although the scope was not large and was nothing in the twelfth spatial rift, such an unforeseen event naturally needed attention. Chapter 329 the people of China will never retreat. The war at the front line had already multiplied the pressure on the edge of the spatial rift. If anything happened here, the entire spatial rift might collapse. The situation is not very optimistic. I don't know what's going on, but I've detected a very powerful energy brewing. We can't contact those heaven realm experts up ahead either. I wonder what this is. However, for some reason, I have a bad feeling. Ling Shuaying took a deep breath and her expression was not good. Her worries were not unfounded. With the rise of the foreign races, the pressure on the humans had multiplied. If anything happened, it was really difficult to guarantee that they would not fail here. If this place was lost, the ones who would suffer would not be them, but the citizens behind them. Zhou Hao nodded and could not help but say, a woman's intuition has always been very accurate. Wait here. I'll go and see what's going on. After Zhou Hao finished speaking, he did not give Ling Shuaying a chance to speak. His body moved and disappeared. Ling Shuaying still wanted to instruct Zhou Hao, but she smiled when she saw him leave. Although Zhou Hao did not speak much and even gave her an indecent impression, at this moment, he was surprisingly able to reassure her. She did not know why. Zhou Hao naturally did not know what she was thinking. Instead, he arrived at the place where the energy gathered. The magnetic field here was very powerful and the repulsive force was also very strong. Fortunately, Zhou Hao's cultivation level was powerful, so he could get closer. However, as he approached, the pressure suddenly multiplied, making Zhou Hao's expression turn somewhat solemn. What is it? Senior, do you know? After all, Zhou Hao did not have much experience. However, Mirong Sun was different. He was a veteran heaven realm expert. This feeling seems like the aura of an alternate space descending. Mirong Sun also took a deep breath and was very solemn. 
An alternate space descending? What does that mean? Zhou Hao could not help but ask. It's simple. It is very difficult to cause one space to descend onto another. Only the high-level secret weapons of the machine race can do this. However, this shouldn't be happening. After all, the machine race shouldn't be too interested in this spatial rift. Mirong Sun was also very puzzled and did not understand. Zhou Hao nodded. Although he could not figure out what it was, it seemed that nothing had happened yet. However, Zhou Hao's intuition was the same as Ling Shuang's. No matter what this place was, as long as it was a foreign race technique, it was definitely not that simple. As he was thinking, the spatial fluctuation suddenly became even more intense. Moreover, Zhou Hao could clearly sense that many living beings had appeared in this magnetic field. This made his expression change. At the same time, he received Heavenly King Zhu's message. President Zhou, run quickly. This is the descent of the machine race. I've received a notification that the machine race has transferred three quasi-heaven realm experts from the seventh spatial rift. Including the six quasi-heaven realm experts from the twelfth spatial rift, there are a total of nine of them. They want to break open the twelfth spatial rift and use it as a springboard to connect to the thirteenth spatial rift. Seeing this news, Zhou Hao's expression changed drastically. Indeed, the foreign races could no longer hold back. They attacked first. Now that the seventh spatial rift is already in chaos, the experts on our side can't even take care of themselves. The foreign races used the ongoing war as an opportunity to descend here and are prepared to attack the twelfth spatial rift with their full strength. Damn it, isn't the descent of the machine race very difficult to control? When did they open this spatial tunnel? Heavenly King Zhu's voice was anxious, and so was Zhou Hao. The only solution he could think of now was to destroy this magnetic field. As long as they did not descend, everything would be fine. However, this magnetic field was too hard. Zhou Hao tried a few times but it was useless. At this moment, Ling Shuang rushed over. President Zhou, there's no need to try. Save your strength. We're prepared to fight a bloody battle. Even if we die, we have to stop them outside the twelfth spatial rift. Ling Shuang's eyes were filled with determination to face death. Her entire body was filled with heroic spirit, and she had the intention to overthrow a country. Zhou Hao was also infected by her and laughed. Ha ha ha, good. The people of China will never retreat. Zhou Hao and Ling Shuang returned to the area outside the twelfth spatial rift. The experts from the Green Cloud Division and the few quasi-heaven realm experts from the military had all arrived. Their faces were filled with determination to die for the country. Even Zhu Zhao appeared. Although he could not participate in the battle because there were also heaven realm experts eyeing the spatial rift, he still shouted loudly. The war is imminent. For our home. These simple words instantly ignited everyone. A powerful army had already been deployed in the twelfth spatial rift, and some high-tech weapons were also prepared. Although the human race had prepared so much, they still felt that this battle was going to be very difficult. The quasi-heaven realm experts of the foreign races were originally stronger than the humans. Usually, three to four quasi-heaven realm experts were only able to resolve a single quasi-heaven realm foreign race. This was an innate advantage that the foreign race had and no one could do anything about it. However, at this moment, everyone's fighting spirit was aroused. Chapter 330, How How Are You So Strong? At this moment, as if responding to Zhu Zhao, the spatial fluctuations that descended instantly became huge. Countless auras appeared outside the twelfth spatial rift. The ground trembled as many foreign races crawled out from the ground. In the distance, six foreign race beasts with rumbling auras appeared. An aura rumbled, and a quasi-heaven realm aura exploded carrying endless pressure. However, Zhou Hao did not see the red gold flame lion. Presumably, it also did not dare to appear here. Being controlled by his beast control ring, it did not dare to attack the humans at all. If Zhou Hao forced it to kill its own kind, 
how could it survive in the foreign races in the future? Therefore, not coming was the best solution. Sensing these six powerful foreign beasts, everyone's expressions darkened. Those are the thousand-eyed hundred-eyed worm, the void beast taming beast, the golden armor lizard, the demon race's ghost frog, the titan bear king, and the white phosphorus giant crab. They really came. Looks like this battle has to be fought. The human experts became nervous. At this moment, what made them even more nervous was that the spatial descent had already been completed. Countless mechanical foreign races had appeared, and Zhou Hao frowned. That is the Golden Armor Mechanical Leopard. The Golden Armor Mechanical Leopard was a relatively ferocious warrior of the machine race. Their bodies were made of titanium alloy and were incomparably tough. In addition, the Golden Armor Mechanical Leopard was surprisingly fast and was rather famous. After all, with high defense, fast speed and powerful attack power, such an opponent was the most difficult to deal with. Behind them, three ferocious beasts also appeared. Their auras were still that of Quasi Heaven Realm experts. There were a total of nine human warriors. In contrast, there were only eleven human warriors who had reached the Quasi Heaven Realm. If they fought, they would definitely be at a disadvantage. However, they could not retreat from this battle. Once they did, the twelfth spatial rift would collapse and the humans would fall. For the foreign races, they would advance another step. Moreover, there were tens of millions of people behind them. They could not back down. Fight. It was unknown who roared. All the human cultivators revealed murderous intent. At this moment, they had all aroused their courage and were prepared to die. Zhou Hao took a deep breath. He knew his mission. Although there were many people attacking from both sides, the key was still the battle between the peak level experts. If he could kill more Quasi Heaven Realm beasts in a short period of time, he would definitely be able to relieve a lot of pressure. He took a step forward and stood at the front. His powerful cultivation exploded. His essence energy circulated throughout his body, and his body was like a hot furnace that enveloped an area. Seeing Zhou Hao step forward, everyone's confidence soared. Don't be afraid. With President Zhou around, we can definitely turn the tables. That's right. President Zhou is the strongest below the Heaven Realm. What are we afraid of? Kill them. Damn, even if I die, I'll drag a few of them down with me. Zhou Hao stepping forward gave them even more confidence. Without hesitation, Zhou Hao rushed over. After tempering his body with essence energy, Zhou Hao did not know how powerful he was, but he knew that he could still kill Quasi Heaven Realm beasts. Zhou Hao moved like a signal, and the scene instantly crossed swords. The foreign races also seemed to know how powerful Zhou Hao was. They directly sent out three Quasi Heaven Realm beasts wanting to work together to kill Zhou Hao. Zhou Hao laughed as his blood essence surged, dying half the sky red as he directly fought. His blood essence roared and was like a war god as he blasted towards the hundred insect king. Little human, you're indeed arrogant. Die. The hundred insect king's huge antennas slapped over fiercely, and the huge whipping force tore a spatial rift. The golden armor lizard beside it raised its huge tail and lashed it at Zhou Hao. The Titan Bear King also swung its fist and smashed over. Zhou Hao's body moved, and he used the Golden Crow escape technique with his full strength. He instantly dodged the attacks of the three of them and punched out. This punch mixed with monstrous strength directly poured down and smashed fiercely onto the Hundred Insect King's huge body. Boom! Powerful essence energy exploded, directly smashing a huge hole in the Hundred Insect King's body. This scene instantly shocked everyone. Even Zhu Zhao, who was watching the battle nervously, widened his eyes. This this. Everyone could not believe it, but in the next second, they became even more excited and shouted. President Zhou is invincible. President Zhou is mighty. With President Zhou around, what are we afraid of? Charge. The human warriors roared and pounced over. Zhou Hao did not expect his punch to be so powerful. 
This was the first time he had fought since his essence energy was tempered. Last time, he had still spent a lot of effort to deal with the red gold flame lion. However, this time, after tempering his body, he realized that it was indeed different. How how are you so strong? The hundred insect king had a hole punched in it, and blood flowed down. Although it was not fatal, its combat strength decreased rapidly.